Today's video is all about literary maps and books that explore the real and imaginary landscapes of our favourite novels in detail. The first book I'd like to review is The Writer's Map, edited by Hugh Lewis-Jones. This is probably my favourite of all this type of book in my collection. It's a magnificent atlas of imaginary lands, a collection of essays by and about writers, and it's packed full of large, glorious, full-colour illustrations. The essays cover not only maps that appear in the books, but also writer sketches, notes by map illustrators, and real-life locations that inspired them. The maps explored in this book range from adventure books to fantasy novels and even comics and nursery rhymes. The prologue by Philip Pullman recounts the experience of drawing a map as he set out on one of his early novels, The Tin Princess. Cressida Cowell explains the inspiration from maps of numerous children's books when drawing her illustrations in How to Train Your Dragon. Mira Foramina recalls the creative challenge of drawing up the Marauder's map for the Harry Potter films. David Mitchell leads us to the map of Mundi by way of Cloud Atlas and his own sketch maps. And Daniel Reeves shares his fascinating history in making maps for the Lord of the Rings. In contrast, Literary Landscapes edited by John Sutherland charts the real-life settings of classic fiction. It covers 73 books with a couple of pages each, including a short biography of the author along with pictures and publication details for the first edition. The text entries discuss how the setting and other attributes of the literary environment influence the story, the characters and the impact on the reader. It provides very interesting context to a fascinating collection of literature. A word of warning though, the electronic version contains none of the images, so you definitely want to see this in print. Also in series with the previous book is Literary Wonderlands, edited by Laura Miller, which does the same thing for fictional landscapes. Ranging from Beowulf to Murakami's IQ84, the essays herein discuss the relevance of the writer's own life to the creation of their worlds, as well as exploring influences from contemporary events and philosophies on their work. The lovely covers for these two books are by the brilliant Jim Tanney, by the way. His cover art always catches my eye along a bookshelf. Next, we have a one-man artist affair called Plotted by Andrew de Graff and Daniel Harmon. This book is an eclectic copy offering landscape maps of literary classics that seek to create a sense of contour, sometimes literal and sometimes metaphorical. The maps range from tracing the movements of Odysseus around the Mediterranean, to the path walked by Hamlet through the ruins of Elsinore Castle, to the romantic journey of the characters in Pride and Prejudice. The same artist also created an atlas called Cinemaps, which does the same thing for classic movies. For example, charting the paths of true love from The Princess Bride. Unfortunately, I found the colour reproductions a little muddy in this volume, but they're interesting interpretations nonetheless. Honing in now on single locations, Tolkien, maker of Middle-earth, offers a fascinating look into the creative process of the man who famously once wrote, I wisely started with a map and made the story fit. The book includes essays on a number of different themes, including on the concept of fairy as an enchanted literary realm and the influence of the author's visual imagination in mapping the Lord of the Rings. Next, this leads me to a lovely set of Middle Earth maps, illustrated by John Howe. These maps come in a box set of four, or well, some of them can be purchased separately. They include essays by Brian Sibley on the importance and evolution of geography within Tolkien's epic fiction as well as full-colour fold-out maps.
I actually have a few of these types of literary conceits in my library, meaning maps of fantastical places that have been created as though they're real places. First I'll show here is Brian Jarrett's map of Redwall, which comes with a copy of the Redwall Riddler, containing pu riddles and puzzles based on the series. I also have a fun set of maps set in Terry Pratchett's Discworld, each accompanied by a booklet of information. As well as a full map of the Discworld, there's also a street map for Ankh Morpurk, a tourist guide to Lanka, and a map of Death's Domain. Also available is a huge street directory covering all the districts that comes with a pull-out map. And last, but definitely not least, what would a literary maps video be without including a copy of the Marauders map? I've seen several versions of this, but my favourite is the one published by the Noble Collection. Folded up, this is still a large map at 15 and a half by 8 inches, but it unfolds up fully to 6 feet long. It's printed on heavy parchment paper, and contains lots of little secret panels that unfold to reveal hidden details. Thanks for watching, like, comment or subscribe and join me next time for a YouTube game I'm working on where you can play along to guess the book from the map. Bye!